In this session, we are going to explain what a desktop shortcut is, the benefits of a desktop shortcut, and go through the steps involved in creating a desktop shortcut for your MYOB data file. A desktop shortcut is a small file on the desktop or home page of your computer monitor that points directly to a particular location. In today's scenario, it will point directly at an MYOB data file and will be programmed to open the MYOB data file with the appropriate MYOB software. An MYOB desktop shortcut is a time-saving and convenient way to access the MYOB data file. A clearly labelled MYOB desktop shortcut eliminates possible confusion caused when a business runs multiple data files. You don't want to open up an old data file and accidentally be working on that all day. An MYOB desktop shortcut allows you to work smarter and faster. There are actually several ways you can create a des data file desktop shortcut. I am going to take you through step by step what I consider to be the simplest method I know and hopefully you'll be able to copy it. The instructions will include the use of the mouse buttons. Continuously calling out left click and right click may well be a little confusing. I ask you to remember that the left click of the mouse button normally refers to selecting or choosing something and the right click of the mouse button normally brings up a small context sensitive menu. OK, let's start. The steps for creating an MYOB data file shortcut are as follows. Locate MYOB data file. Create a shortcut of the MYOB data file. Rename the MYOB data file shortcut. Test the shortcut works. To start with, you will need to know where the MYOB data file is located. Write down on your notepad the file ex extension for the MYOB data file so we can easily locate it for this exercise. My MYOB data file is stored on the C drive under my business finance directory. I click on the start menu, I click on my documents, I search for the C drive, I search for business, click on finance and here it is here. I have named it SWAN to make it easily identifiable for you. Now, if you have stored your MYOB data file under C drive next to your MYOB software, I highly recommend you move the data file into a separate business finance directory like I have. Every time you upgrade your software, you will need to move the data file, so retaining the data file in a single file area will mean you and other staff members will not get confused and accidentally use the wrong data file. If a client has a server, I will normally find they have the MYOB data file stored on the server area and typically it is being backed up every night enhancing the protection of your data file. The data file icon that you have here may look different to your icon, but don't worry about that yet. Just check that it has the extension .myo. Now I will right click on the data file and the context sensitive menu will pop up. I am going to select the option create a shortcut. I am using my left mouse key to select the shortcut I just created and will move it across and drop it onto my desktop. I will now right click on the shortcut and the context sensitive menu will pop up again and this time I will click on properties. At the target field here I will select everything as it has been here selected. I will right click and I'll click copy. Now I'm going to move across to my MYOB desktop icon here and I'm going to right click on properties again. Again I'm going to the target area and I have the field here. I click my cursor at the end. I enter one single space then I right click and paste. So you can see I have pasted my data file extension there. It is now important that I come down to the bottom and click apply. Click OK and that has now closed. I'm going to close this one down and this down as well. Now I need to rename my MYOB data file shortcut. This will make it easy to identify on your desktop, especially if you have it crowded with other icons. Now remember, this is not the MYOB data file. If you delete it, you will still have the MYOB data file. This is the shortcut to the MYOB data file. Right click, select rename. I will type in SWAN. 
but you would type in what is irrelevant for you. I click out of it and there it is. Now let's test the MYAB data file shortcut works. Finally the proof is in the pudding. Double click on the shortcut icon and it will open up to the MYAB sign on window. Type in your username and password here, click OK and you should now have access to your business MYAB data file. In this session we have explained what a desktop shortcut is, the benefits of a desktop shortcut and have gone through the steps involved in creating a desktop shortcut for your MYAB data file.